everybody, how's it going? Welcome to today's mindful message. Just hopped off the treadmill. <laughs> I get my walks inside, so we're gonna be doing um sitting down for the rest of the winter. But I just like to use my treadmill time to like meditate and stuff. <laughs> anyway, all right. So this one is how to read your lover's language. What are they really saying with their actions? So let's get right into it. There's a lot to cover. So we're going with the first one I call the control freak mode or when they're yelling about things being done around the house or things being done by a certain time, trying to control the flow of something or everything, that hovering, smothering, harping over details type of action. So what, what could they really be saying um, when your person starts doing this? Um, or overall why do we just do this in general in a relationship one life is feeling off or unbalanced and trying to have order or leadership makes life seem more manageable i made notes by the way that's what i'm reading <laughs> um or they feel like they can't count on things to get done or can't count on help unless they're micromanaging so that comes from like when they ask for help or they voice themselves and it's not being heard, heard on the tasks aren't getting done around the house. That's when they go into smothering, hover, hovering. I need to micromanage because they don't listen to me. They don't hear me. I'm exhausted. So make sure you're not ignoring your person and their needs. Um, that would cause them to react like that. Uh, or they just feel something's off in their life. They could be dealing with a death. They could have lost a job. They could um, have like self-esteem issues and that can come across as I need to get everything in order because I'm not in order in here. Um, people do that without realizing they're doing that. Um, or the, a power struggle is happening. If there's tension or resentments or one feels undervalued, being bossy and micromanaging can flare up because there is not healthy communication. So apologies and peace needs to be made for this behavior to end. So basically you got into an argument, there's stuff still simmering. Um, anytime you get into an argument, you should always sit down and discuss with each other um, what you shouldn't have done, what you did, apologize and make it right. And when you don't do that, this type of behavior can flare up because there's this resentment and, and tension and it comes out with, I'm going to micromanage or I'm going to nitpick or I'm going to be demanding. Um, I don't know why people do that. Again, sometimes it, it is consciously, but most of the time it is not. It's like I have all this anger and stuff in inside and I don't know how to communicate that to you so I'm just going to be a nag. <laughs> all right so the second situation always questioning where you are or who you're with spying on you wanting to look in your phone talking to people about you just being sketch accused accusatory <laughs> that's what I call them accusasaurus rex so why would they be doing this in detective mode um that's a healthier way to say it somebody in detective mode so they could feel a divide in the relationship or feel you're pulling away and they get stuck in fear that they are losing you or they feel they are, there's someone else in the mix that they're losing you too um, so instead of looking at the, the relationships issues they're like well it must be somebody else you must be dating someone else because we're not getting along or you're being distant or you're changed in some way. Um, they could actually be feeling guilty about something they did or could be cheating. If they're capable of it, they'll automatically assume you are too. So that's like a common scenario. A lot of cheaters actually put on the control pants like, who are you talking to? Who are you with? Either it's because they fear you're they're losing you to someone else or just losing you in general or they're covering up their own guilty conscience 
by making you crazy because they're out doing sketchy shit. So when they're out doing sketchy shit, they're thinking you're out doing sketchy shit too. Um, very low self-esteem or very deep-rooted past relationship traumas or perhaps some gossip. So somebody could be trying to stick their head in your relationship and just start some shit. Maybe they told them some shit. Um, or they just have self-esteem. Like maybe they put on some weight or they lost weight or they're balding or there's some kind of life crisis where it's like, oh, they're cheating on me because I have this stuff going on. We do this subconsciously. Um, these are all things that would be healthy for you to sit down with your partner and be like, look, I feel like shit about myself. I feel like I'm unattractive. So I fear that you're going to find someone else instead of accusing someone all the time that would be the healthier way of doing it but when your loved ones are acting this way they're not in a healthy frame of mind they're in some kind of panic mode or covering up their own tracks perhaps let's move on to the third one being very needy or clingy blowing you up being over the top with affection or just love bombing you all the time why are they doing this one they want your attention Feeling neglected. They want to see if you will show your love if they show you theirs. Maybe they feel it's a bit one-sided in the relationship with showing their emotions. Number two, they are overcompensating for arguments. Lack of having things in common or feeling the need to bring the spark back into things. So I don't have anything to talk about. So let's just kissy-kissy or... Um, if I remind them how passionate we are, they're going to ignore all the other bullshit that's going on. Or they don't know how to fix the stuff, so they're just trying to give love to the situation and hope that's enough. They could be hyper-focusing on romance to dismiss pent-up emotions or a loss of feeling unfulfilled in life or feeling unfulfilled in the relationship. Or they could be feel feeling guilty for overreacting or being in a bad mood a lot, it's their way of apologizing. Sometimes your loved one sucks up to you when they know they've just been a dick and they just don't want to say it, so they love bomb you. That could be going on as well. Another situation is when they're distant, when they're not wanting to do things together, not really talking, silent treatment, probably not sleeping in the same bed or sleeping together. One, they could be very upset unsure how to express their feelings or unsure of what the problem is or they could just be going through a bit of depression this is a common thing people retract when they're going through loss grieving depression anything like that don't really know how to articulate what's going on in them maybe they're just trying to figure it out themselves maybe they just need personal space a personal issue they are not ready to share or feeling like you're being overwhelmed and trying to set some boundaries so maybe um, they're questioning whether you're just about physical things and they just want to cap that and just focus on other things for a while or they could be having personal issues like I said that they don't want to tell you about they could have um, they could feel unheard uncared about so they are shutting down maybe they lost their identity in your relationship and just trying to create their own things for a while. You know how when you're known as a couple, you kind of lose your identity. You do everything together and maybe they just want to establish some personal space in that way. Because that happens when you're with someone for a long time. So let's see. Not wanting to be intimate. Making excuses not to have sex or never in the mood. Why are they doing this? They could be having an issue with their areas and not wanting to tell you. Um, they could be dealing with tired, exhaustion, depression, or health issues. They could be feeling neglected. Um, maybe you're arguing too much or they want you to put more romance in it and make it less about sex. Or they're just bored with sex in general and your sex life might need to spice it up a little. And lastly, being vocal or extra in public or on social media. Why do people do this? They could be trying to clear their name or clear up some image. They could be trying to mark their territory to someone else. Or they just feel like you don't hear them. They want acknowledgement. So it's like they're trying to collect teammates on their side. Not very healthy, but that could be.